Hello everybody, welcome back to City Skylines with me, Bipper. Thank you very much for joining me here in the city of Teaport. Yes, we are going to be expanding our city even more today. And we did unlock a monument in the last episode, which I would like to add to my city and see the benefits of that. We've got the ultimate recycling plant, um, which is absolutely fantastic. It takes all of that trash and converts it into good electricity and raw materials. And then we're going to try and work towards unlocking something else as well. So I want to find a good area to put that. I'm not sure whether that is going to have a load of trucks or coming towards it and doing all that sort of stuff. I'm thinking it might do. Now, I'm just looking at my roads here, actually. We could do with maybe attaching this road here down here somewhere i meant to do that before i never got around to it just to give people more choices of getting in and out of our city and then we can build sort of off of that mm, as well perhaps let's just quickly have a look at that i'm just wondering whether we could have a, a road going over the top of this as well try and make it look nice let's just pause this for a second and um, we're gonna need to what have we got here we've got like a a six lane whoa man things are jumpy a six lane road going through here so we could definitely just use that through here so let's use our picker picker tool we'll grab that road there 80 percent traffic i love it when a plan works so we're going to delete all the connections off of here like this uh, let's delete that and that and that i think as well we'll get those collected again uh, connected again. We're going to do that. Oh, yeah, it's got a nice green in the middle, of course. Uh, that's a nice big road to go through here. I want that to go over the top in the middle. So if we sort of go like this, let's go up eight and see whether that's a reasonable amount. The trains still get underneath. Oh, that's a little bit tight. Let's use the move it mod and just expand that up. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That should be fine. And then we'll connect this up. Um, do the home key. Oh, the person who told me how to do that used the home key to get that to go straight back to the land. Lifesaver. Absolute lifesaver. And then we'll just connect that into there. Excellent. And then we'll do the same over here. Uh, home key. We'll go down. And then where do we want to go? So we've got this here. I'd like this to go straight into that highway. And then this to be... Uh, into this roundabout, I should say. And then this to be a road off of it. Unfortunately, we've got... Yeah, do you know what I might just do here? Is I might change how many lanes are on this road at some point. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to change my mind. We're going to do this. We're going to... We're going to wiggle this. I want to connect there. So we're going to go through the middle of the forest. And we're going to connect right there. And we've got far too many lanes. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Because you have one lane going right and two lanes going left or the other way around. Yeah. So if we do this, let's have... Do it like that. So I'm assuming most are going to want to go on the roundabout to go elsewhere. But if they want to go left, they can. Um, we shall do give way. And then I'm going to do this. And it's probably going to change my lanes. Yeah. Done. <laughs> let's change that back again. Oh, no, hang on. There we go, like that. And we've got dedicated lanes in there and giveaway coming out. Yeah, that's good. And then before we unpause, I want to just connect these guys over here. Yeah, this bit here again. I mean, they can literally just connect straight off of there. That's fine. What we are going to do is... Hmm, if I connect a road to here, they're not going to be able to get in the other direction, are they? Whereas before they could... What if I connect it here? Let's use an asymmetric road. Let's just try it here. So if I go in like that. Oh, it does cut the thing in the middle. Okay, that's good. So we'll connect that to there. And in fact, do you know what? I'll just make this this four-lane road either way. Because you've got two directions to go there, two directions to go there. We will do dedicated turning lanes there. So one lane off. And but what we'll do is we'll make them give way. And we'll definitely say if you're on this road, you just keep going. Whoops like that because this is the fast road to go through good i'm glad it connects there um and then these here what have we got fan zone park oh yeah that's right and then we've got this over here incineration plant and right recycling center they're actually going to go we're going to remove those so we don't need that road anymore there 
Then the only other thing to connect is this path. So we'll get our picker picker tool and we'll just add. Uh, oh, I hate it when it, hate it when he does that. Road guidelines. We're going to go there. Um, we'll go page up. All right, let's do it from there. Is that not tall enough? That looks like it should be tall enough. Okay, we'll go a couple more. There we go. That should be perfectly fine. <laughs> it is now. And then we'll connect that to there. And then we'll connect that to over here. And then that'll be fine. Everybody can get around. Oh, I forgot to press the home key. Bing. There we go. Excellent. So they can get in there if they need to, which is what we want. And that should be fine. That's all the access we need. And it's just the fan zone park. Doesn't that have like a, a noisy sort of... Not really. So I'm just thinking maybe... Attach it to there. Well, it's not the busiest road over this one over here. Maybe we'll look to move that at some point to somewhere more fitting. <laughs> but for now, that can go there. So that's now given extra access. So now we could perhaps just add a little something over here for this. So it's not too big, which is good. But I wanted it to have its own little, its own little area away from everything else. Um, what I would like is... An industrial asymmetric road. We've got this one here. Yeah, just to come off of here. So let's maybe pop that on that node there. Yeah, that's good. So we do the same. Asymmetric. Give way. Bink. And you'll go through anyway. That's fine. And then we'll just draw a little zone up here for this. I don't know what. We might end up with a couple of other things up here as well. But for now, that should just be fine. That'll just fit in there nicely. Yeah, it's out of the way of everything else. That's good. So, garbage reserves. That's a million. Processing rate. It is going to send out trucks. And then it also gives power as well. It doesn't have any water. Let's fix up that. Uh, I have been keeping my water pipes all nicely organized and straight. Ah, look. Here we go. This one here. Nope. This one here. We're going to drag this pipe all the way across from over there. Just to give them what they need. Okay, so a lot of trucks are going to go out. They should be fine. There we go. Let's speed that up a bit. How many trucks is it going to send out? So now our garbage processing, just three, is through the roof. So that might mean that... Let's just check our economy and our budget. Just in case at any point I've whacked that up too high. If I put that down, whoa, let's not do that. If I put that down a bit, still pretty high. I'm just sort of, rather than going through the city, sort of deleting everything, if I could just adjust this ever so slightly. Yeah, there we go. So we've got enough garbage processing status, but that is also going to give us goods and things as well. So I don't know quite how it's going to do that, whether it's going to send out goods vehicles or anything like that maximum 49 trucks yeah, that should do and raw materials and goods from the waste maybe they magically appear in the stores we shall see good okay so that's those couple of monuments we've got what's this one over here the castle of lord chirpwick well why not let's go for that one that's going to cost us a lot of money. Now, I've had a lot of people mention about my money here. has been slowly going down over the past few episodes. I believe my taxes aren't as high as they could be. Um, and we're also giving free education to all of the people in Smarty Pants University, which we don't really need to do that anymore. But, you know, I am spending a lot of money and not running my city much in between videos so when our money does go up and you know like it does it fluctuates quite a lot i'm not giving it chance to give us a lot of money so we'll see how that goes we might have to end free education but we shall see we'll see what happens okay so the castle of lord chirpwick has got some unlocks we need to do the city arch which i'm surprised that we haven't already placed here it is the city arch Excellent. Increases the tourist capacity of roads by 5%. Now, I have no idea what that actually means because the roads don't get any bigger. It doesn't affect the traffic. 
Does it just mean that it brings in 5% extra tourists? I think that's probably what it means. Uh, tourism fluctuates quite a lot, so there's no real way of checking that. Now, I'm thinking, where is the real entrance to the city? We've obviously got the highway coming in over here, uh, which runs through. We've got the highway coming in over here, but that's more the industrial sort of area. So I'm thinking this one here. We've got... You know, our built-up areas. It's not what was the centre of the city when we started, which was down this road. This has got our university. Do you know what, actually? I think this is more at the entrance of the city. This is industrial. So can we pop that on here? Unfortunately, with the size of it, the answer is no. Mm. What about if we go a little bit further down and we get to this style of road? So I reckon here... It would go on. Yeah, look. It will snap there. Let's just pause the game. Oh, I don't need to do anarchy. Let's just snap that on there. Come on. Yeah, and then I'm just going to use move it mods. Just to sort of line that up. A little bit better. <laughs> and you know what? I think that looks absolutely perfect there. If we look the other way, we'll get the sun on it. That just suits the entrance of the city brilliantly, doesn't it? Look at that. There we go. Fantastic. Getting a little bit of traffic building up there, but we'll just let that sort itself out. I'm sure it will be fine. Excellent. Okay, so what is next on our list for Castle Lord Chirpwick? The Clock Tower. I do love the Clock Tower. We need to, whoops, we need to make sure that we give that a lovely place to go. Now, uh, help citizens to stick to their schedules increases the speed of trains by 20%. I absolutely never knew that that was what that did <laughs> fantastic brilliant so where would be a good spot for that um this is all pretty built up this area here it's like the start of our city these uh, people down here have loved living with their dirt roads and i think in this little park we could maybe rebuild ever so slightly a little area here as if it was a park square is that paths going through there isn't it uh, not a park square sorry like an old style square that used to be here and then the city expanded around it i think that'd be nice for tea town why not now this little bit here seems to be in the middle so it's not going to be nice for the people that live here <laughs> but for everybody else <laughs> it'll be nice let's just delete this little bit here there we go. Let's see the size of it. Yeah, so imagine that in the middle there. And it gives a nice little bonus around it as well of entertainment. Noise pollution a tiny bit. I think they will be okay with that. So what roads do we have that we could use to put that against? Do we have any... So I'm just wondering here. Gravel. No, nah. let's put stone pedestrian roads sort of in here. And see how that would look. Something like that. And then pop it off of there. You know what? I think that's going to look nice. Look at that. A nice little focal point for this area here. They can walk to it. I think only people in emergency vehicles can go down here. So that counts as road access for that. And then we can try and sort of pretty this up a little bit as well. What do you think? Oh, 
There we go. Looking good. Looking good. I do like the look of that. I just want to make sure. I mean, there are cars coming out of here, but I'm not too bothered, I'll be honest. Just want to make sure. So we've got a tram stop here. They can easily walk up and around and get access. And there's a bus stop here as well. So, yep, yeah, that's fine. Everything we need. And that is a lovely focal point there for the first starting area of our city, T-Town. Excellent. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. That's very good. Uh, so next on the list is Old Market Street. Now, do you know what? That would <laughs> that would also fit in somewhere like this. Um, but uh, let's put Old... Oh, my goodness me. Am I going to spell this thing right? Old Market Street. Hmm. That is pretty big, though. Let's let's give that is given a bonus to this area. Let's find another place we can put that. And I think this little spot up here, this would fit in perfectly. I mean, look at that. That would just be right up, right up their street. <laughs> all the dead jokes. It's going to take out all those people, but we could definitely expand over here. I'm just going to plop it in, you know. Uh, let's see what it does. Uh, Ploppable, unique, atmospheric, increased tax income of the nearby commercial zones by 5%. So, going to get lots of extra income from those. Uh, it fits there perfectly. Let's turn off Anarchy. Do you know what? That looks, again, like it should be there. I might just lower these buildings here. Yeah, do we have a zone over this area? We do. Sippity Park. So if we go into policies and city planning high rise ban. Could be good. And I might then just delete those two. And hopefully they'll grow back. We do have some needs. Yeah, there we go. Not quite so high. So we can see that. And then this bit at the end here. Sorry, you're just moving in. We're gonna delete those. Well, didn't that look nice? Yep, adds a little something to that. I like doing this, adding little things to the areas, make them extra specially nice. And what is next on the list? Oh, the Sea Fortress. Now, the Sea Fortress. Uh, for trick, there we go. Now, this is pretty big, I believe. Yeah, reasonable size has some nice benefits and bonuses around it as well. Lots of entertainment increases the ship and airport traffic's tourist capacity by five percent. That capacity thing must be like an inbuilt hidden capacity amount, so it's just adding to that. Now, 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 we are going to be having a port coming up here. But that is going to be like totally industrial and all that sort of thing. But we could add this sort of somewhere around here. I know it's a sea fortress, but yeah, tough. <laughs> there was going to be some in-depth, um, clever thing to say there. I'm just thinking where... So we've got our Tivoli strawberry experience over here, which we could maybe squeeze it on and it would give that extra entertainment bonus to those sort of... I'm trying to think of a place we could pop it and it's going to get the most bonuses. We know we're going to build this up at some point. So if we put it there, see that green... <laughs> We've just lost a football match somewhere. It's going to cover all of these. I think that might be quite nice. Although there's not much room there, is there? And then along here... Okay, let's have a look at this. If it went there, for instance... Do you know, that would be really interesting. If it went there, that is almost like it's deliberately built there to block off this area. And then we could just move our ferries around the outside here. I think that is a fantastic idea. Biffa, where do you come up with these ideas? I don't know, Biffa. I just amaze myself sometimes. Well, good. So let's delete these that up to there and let's do a this instead that connector there that will sort itself out no problem and then we can add that onto we can get that lined up right with that end bit there 
then it looks like it's all deliberately placed here. And then later on, someone's come along and added some roads in, and it's all just it's all just meant to be. Oh, doesn't that just look like it's deliberately built there? Oh, I'm liking that a lot. How's that going to affect the water? Hadn't thought of that. Is it going to be a bit weird? Possibly. Could we use the Move It mod? So if we go up, what do we have underneath here? It's got all of that. Oh, it's saying no road access. What? Oh, okay. Well, we might be able to work on that. Um, How high or low do we want this? So if we go too low, we're starting to get the... Yeah, also... Okay, hang on. Move it mod adjustment. I'm going to move that over there. I'm going to delete these two bits here. Then we're going to do Control z on the Move it mod. And then this I'm going to line up with the other... What is this called? Key wall something or other. Let's have a look. It's And it is key. It's not quay. I do see some people saying that. Uh, distance too short. If we do add a key and get that just in there. And do the one without the trees. And just sort of line that up like that. And that sits on the top. I think that actually blocks the water going through there. We might need to just fertile with the land a bit. But I think that's okay. Let's not worry too much about all this water going everywhere. And then it does need a little bit of road access. So we're going to have to do a little bit of monkeying around here. And again, I'm going to use these walking things because I like these. What should we have? I wish we had one of these that was a bit more, looked like this, sort of brick-ish. But we'll go with this one. I'm going to delete some trees from here as well. We'll pop that one sort of there, and then we'll connect it like that. And move it mod. Just line that up. I think that'll give it the road access it needs. Just line it up a little bit better, like that. Yeah, and then we can put this back over the top or underneath. We could just do like a tunnel. Let's do a tunnel underneath there. So if we go... Oh, we're going to need to do a bit of bit of work on that tunnel do i want to do a tunnel do you know what no i don't let's forget the tunnel change of mind no tunnel for you i'm just going to connect that to there and we can just imagine people get off their bike cycle round. they'll be able to do that that's fine yeah let me just do a bit of monkeying around with the land here see if we can get this to look a bit nicer And here we are. Yeah, that's fitted in perfectly. I'm absolutely loving that. It looks like it should be there. And it fits in really well with what we've got. And I love the uh, the contrast as well between this oldie worldy building here and these brand new buildings that have been put there. Absolutely fantastic. Good, good, good. Uh, what's next on the list? I've no idea. The statue of Colossus. <laughs> have I even seen this before? Uh, entertainment value of 100 increases the attractiveness of all the unique buildings by 25%. I must have seen this before. Statue. Oh, I know what it is. It's this guy here, isn't it? Oh, my goodness me. That is huge. Oh, actually, it's not as big as you think it is, first of all. Oh, where would be a good spot for that? Again, we've got our water here. Because we're not built up right by the coast, I don't just want to plop it on a piece of coast over here where there's nothing going on. I want to have it where it really stands out. I feel like this bit of shoreline here, but we've got our ferries that come past. Um, <laughs> Look at this guy. I love it. It's fantastic. I, I bet we could do a bit of finagling and get it to go in here because we've got this beach space over here. That is where I want it to go. Uh, space already occupied, I know. Okay, let us just maybe sort out our space already occupied problem by... Oh, it's like right there. Okay, we're going to do a bit of finagling. Whoa, jumpy game. We're going to do a bit of finagling here. Yeah, 
that's okay. That goes around the outside. They can have a look at his loincloth as they're going past. <laughs> oh, this guy. He's just fantastic. And to your right, you have a... Oh, Mavis, don't look up. <laughs> uh, we obviously need a little bit of road access here as well. Um, we're going to have to have a road... Oh, we've got this road here for that. Yeah, let me see what I can do. Ah, oh, fantastic. That fits in there really, really well. I like that. I mean, don't forget, this area here is going to be built up as well. So that's good. I want to make sure if there's any... They're complaining about the noise. Surely he's not making any noise. Ha! Uh, yes, there is a bus that comes down here. So we are going to uh, make sure that it stops right outside. Let's grab that one there. Cannot find path. What? Oh, I didn't connect it up there, did I? Put a path up there. Hang on, let's just fix that. Let's delete that cycling path. Um, let's grab our picker picker. Thank you, picker picker. Um, and let's just... Will you get off of that view? What is going on? Oh, auto save. Quick sip of tea. Mm. There we go. We didn't even notice it was happening. Uh, so if we grab this, I'll tell you what we're going to do... We're going to turn off collision, and we are going to fit that road in between there. And then it's going to curve around like that. And then we're going to pick a picker and put our bicycle lane. It's going to have a little off-ramp to connect up to there as well. Good. And then back to our buses. We can grab our bus route. So now it's using that road to turn. What is going on over here? Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> I turned off collision, and all the trees have come back. All right, let's just move this road. If I can find the road under here. There we go. Oh, I'm going to have to do this all the way along here now, aren't I? All right, okay, that'll do. We've sorted it enough. So let's grab that bus route there and drag that to stop right outside. I can't stop it on that side of the road for some reason, but that will do. Excellent. So we'll get even more tourists coming to that. And it does stand proudly on the shore. Brilliant. Okay, good. So I'm enjoying that one. <laughs> Yay! Castle of Lord Chirpwick. 100 Entertainment increases the attractiveness of all the unique buildings by 25%. Wasn't that the same as that one? What did that one say? Increase the attraction of the city by 20%. Oh, I see. Outdone by Lord Chirpwick and his castle. Now we need to find a cool place to put that. So I'm looking at my city here, imagining this in medieval times. You've got a couple of settlements along the river, maybe one over here, one down here somewhere. You've set up your fortress down here so you can have access to the sea, defend your landing area. And I'm thinking, where would you put a castle so you could oversee all of this? I mean, this side is all totally flat. You wouldn't put it up in a mountain, but look at this. This hill here, to me, looks absolutely perfect for the castle of Lord Chirpwick. You can imagine them lighting a beacon to send a signal down to their sea fortress over to the guy who sits on the top of Colossal's loincloth. So can we get this square over here? I don't see why not. We'll have that one and we'll have that one. Okay, nice. So let's see how that's going to fit on the top of here. Um... Now, would you have it right on the end? Must be placed roadside. Well, we'll get to that. Would you sort of put it here? And then have that as maybe a lookout area? Or would you put it right? I want to put it right on the tip over here. So it's going to need a road to run up there. And I'm thinking some sort of pedestrian gravel road might look good. Um, I'm just going to connect it here, <clears throat> excuse me, just for now, and we're running up. We may change this road later. Uh, yeah, we've got collision on. Let's just see how it looks. If we run this up through the trees, yeah, I think that'll be good. If we just flatten out this top section a bit, it's a very steep road getting up here, wasn't it? But yeah, that's fine. We can work on that. Let's grab this and say that size. 
just flatten out this here. Yeah, we'll rebuild this road, actually. Okay, that's where I want it, like that. Let's just use the Move It mod just to sort of get that face in the direction that we want. And I might just adjust this so it ends up being a straight road here. Looks a bit nicer in front. Yeah, I think this is the sort of road that we need. Something a bit... There we go. Let's make that the same height. Let's make that the same height. Oh, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? It's got like a little garden thing going on around the back here. And the view over the city... That's got to be... That's got to be the best view ever over the city. I'm liking that a lot. Uh, I do feel like I want to add... Uh, look at our money. It's down to 1.8 million. Do you know what? I think free education is going to be uh, it's going to be disappearing very soon. Uh, we could definitely add some like walking paths around here and sort of turn this into a turn this into a park area. We'll have that connect up to there. And then maybe we could have another little walking path come out down here, sort of on the edge. Just to go to a look at. And then we wanted one, didn't we, to come over to to here, perhaps. And imagine they could light a brazier to send the warning that the... Uh, no, that's going too far. That the troops are coming. Let's go up there. Connect to there. Yes, something like that. And we can work on that. I think that looks great. I think that's like protected at the back there. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Let's just adjust this one. That didn't quite sit well with me. That's going to come around here instead. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Cool. got to say i think that is the perfect spot for the castle of lord chirpwick that is absolutely brilliant what i would like to do is get a night shot and also have a launch from our rocket over here i don't think that's going to be ready to go for this episode oh it's so close maybe maybe it will um i've also just had to put the budget back up on the trash because we've got trash problems everywhere <laughs> i i knew that if lowering the budget wouldn't just lower the amount of uh trucks coming out of that one but i've just whacked it back up 125 percent so we can solve the problem oh so which one would you like to see in a future episode we've got the hadron collider which takes care of all the education i tend to leave those sort of ones to the end because then suddenly it means it's pointless having all the um schools and things in the city it's like a magical click your fingers everyone's got education which uh, yeah i know it's end game stuff the same with the medical one it looks good but again, it's like a magical click your fingers one. The Eden Project, I quite like that one. Um, reduces pollution, city more valuable. I think we could build something nice with that. Maybe in this area here, where we're going to be building up the population. Because I still want to get to over 100,000. Space elevator is always a good one. Lots of tourists, so we need to build up some mass transit around that. Don't just plonk it against a six-lane road, like we see in so many cities, to be fixed. Got to really look after that one properly. Uh, the fusion power plant may be further down the line. I think it's probably going to be one of these. Um, yeah, one of these two we'll do next time. Get the tourists going, get the land value going up. That would be really helpful. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to uh, hear from you about that. So let's get a nighttime rocket launch from the view of the castle of Lord Chirpwick going. I'm going to have to run my game for a bit to get this to fill up. Uh, we need another name. We've had the TEA Hugo there. Um, so how about the T-E-A, uh, his Russian cousin, you go through, you go through. Yeah, there we go. He's come over. We're going to name that. Uh, we're going to change the colour on this one. Let's have, what's what's a bit more Russian? I don't know. <laughs> this purpley bluey colour. I think it'll be quite cool. There we go. That's nice. So we just need to wait for this to fill up with all the stuff. And then we'll be back for a nighttime launch. See you in a sec.
So there we go. You go through as headed into space. I think that's a fitting finale for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. That is always appreciated. And help me try and get to half a million subs. We're so close. Not very long to go. Tune in very soon for the next episode. And enjoy your weekend. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.